Good afternoon to our Citibank customers. My name is Bea, and I head a consumer business. We're very excited to share with you this afternoon the launching of our voice biometrics. When you call City Phone, all you have to do is enroll and register in our voice biometrics. We will take your voice prints, and that will now be your password as you call City Phone in the future. Please come and give it a try. Look at look up voice biometrics in our Citibank online or our Facebook. We will teach you how to do it. I expect your enrollment. Thank you. I'm Sassafriana Valdez, like you didn't know. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here hosting for you at another city event. I am such a loyal city cardholder and I'm part of the family almost. In fact, all my blue wardrobe is for all the city events. Thank you to my new outfit. I love coming in the proper attire. But you know, today we're launching something big that has, it's close to my heart, my voice. As you all know, if I have a brief history, I'd like to brag that I won in a singing contest. Aww. But, having said that, the singing contest was with a duet of a professional singer. So I provided the entertainment while the professional singer had a voice. So I, there's a disclaimer to winning the singing contest, but I won. For charity as well. So now my voice again is being put to the test which we will find out today. So to, to get you more on, I think if you transfer from the other serious side of the affair, where you even got the details, now's the fun part, the application, to show that it really works. So to, um, I'm gonna leave it to the bosses to explain and of course introduce and officially open this um, lunch. Please welcome the city voting CEO, Asad Ahmad. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Come on, there has to be more energy in the room. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's great. <laughs> Today is in a, a very happy day. We've been launching innovations in the Philippines for the longest period. And I'm going to talk about a list of few. But I think at the top of the list is biometrics. Because it's really a reflection of a new era and us leveraging technology for its best. When we look at the last several decades that we've been here, we've been here since 1902, so we just celebrated 114 anniversary not that long ago. But if you just reflect back on the last 20 or 30 years, 1983, we brought online banking to the market for corporates. And we not only did that, but we also distributed several hundred computers, as well as modems, to basically enrich the experience for our customers. 1993, we were the first bank to introduce an international ATM card in the Philippines. ATMs existed prior to that, but you did not have the global connectivity. We delivered global connectivity through our platform and through our global network and we issued the first international ATM card. 94, something we are very, very proud of. We delivered, and till today, 20 years later, managed the Philippines domestic dollar system. Now this is a real-time US dollar settlement system that continues to benefit the banking system in the Philippines. And we're very proud of having made that contribution. 97, we were the first to introduce global depository receipts in the country, or GDRs. 2004, we were the first foreign bank to be accredited by the BIR to collect taxes. 2009, we launched the first browser-based, user-friendly, mobile banking application. 2014, 
We issued the first cashless purchase card for the Republic of the Philippines. I can go on. But today is not about the past, today is about the present and the future. The present is biometrics. Biometrics is not a voice recording. Biometrics is basically a voice print. What you do is through a recording, we pick up an algorithm of your voice. In simplistic terms, it's like translating your voice print into dots and dashes that gets recorded on a platform. This is done on a free speech basis. So it's not a question of basically having to remember a pet phrase or a password. This is a question of basically having a conversation with the CTO and your voice gets recorded. But it's not the recording that is used for identification purposes. It's not the recording that's used for verification purposes and authentication purposes. It's that unique print that each of us leaves, like our thumbprint. What is bi voice biometrics? Your voice will help identify you. Why? Because it eliminates the need to go through a series of identifier questions. Today, when you call up and use the voice banking channel, you'll ask anywhere from three to five questions. That takes approximately 45 seconds. Through voice biometrics, the system will recognize you in 10 seconds. It's four times faster. It greatly enhances the account protection feature. So if somebody asked me the question in the last session that people impersonate voices, they can impersonate your voice but this is not being matched against recording. They cannot replicate your voice print. It doesn't make a difference as to whether I'm speaking high or low, whether I have a sore throat that particular day. It depends on my intonations, how I pronounce. It depends on ex exactly the facial con uh, contortions my face goes through as I pronounce certain words. And it's basically a thumb print and here a voice print that gets left. So this is not something that would be exposed to someone being able to replicate your voice because that would be matched to a recording. This is not being matched to a recording. It's another step forward in our attempt to be customer centric. Everything we do from an innovation standpoint is with the customer in mind. Everything we do from a standpoint of bringing new services to market is with you in mind. So what's the importance of this innovation? Like I said earlier, this has been done with you in mind to make it more convenient, to make it more efficient, and to protect you. What does it do? It enhances your experience. What does it do? It shortens the authentication time. What does this feature do? It makes banking more convenient. And it's part and parcel of our commitment to basically make digital the future print for your operations, the future print for your interactions with us, the future print for convenience. And on that note, as this offers you more protection, as this basically helps you leverage technology to a greater extent, we would encourage everyone to sign up for this. We would rely on everyone in this room to spread the word. I know I'm going to be asked the question as to how many people we have enrolled. We've already enrolled 7,000 people. We're enrolling at the rate of 1,000 to 1,200 a day. We expect that we will have 10,000 people enrolled by the end of the week. Somebody else asked us a question, what is your goal? The goal is 100% of people who deal with us on the voice banking channel. Now someone's dealing with us on mobile, 
They can leverage the thumbprint. If someone is dealing with us over the counter, there are other ways to identify yourself. But for those who deal with us over the phone, this is the future. And our goal is to basically, over a 12 month period, enroll everybody who basically deals with us on that channel. And with that, I'll hand over to my colleague, Biate, who runs our consumer business. Not We have a script to follow, which we never do, but you know, this is quite an experience and something really, really exciting because this is the future and City really has a list of firsts and this is really propelling the bank into the future. It's digital now, everything is digital, everything is in your face and more important to that, what you really, what Akta said is the most important is time. And if you can reduce anything and you can have, you know, the most irritating is calling on the phone and firstly, when they answer, they have to verify you and everything. And over and over and over again. And it's not 45 seconds. Can I correct that? It's a minimum of two minutes. It's never 45. 45 is like, hello, hi, you know, it takes a while. And you just, 45 seconds, you just explain your name and what you're calling. By the time you get authorization and everything, it's a good five minutes. So can you compare 15 seconds, 10 seconds to 15 seconds compared to five minutes? And that you replicate that and really, I'm already one of the 10,000 that have registered, which we're gonna show you here. Yes. And I had the most um, questionable voice, you know, with my, you know, I had to authenticate me twice. And said, like, are you okay? Yes, my voice, this is my voice, but you know. <laughs> well, I'm part of the 114 years of city history. So let's just watch this video to show what city is all about. <clears throat> you don't recognize my face, but I have a voice. I speak softly. When I have something important to say, when I get emotional, my voice breaks. I'm a man of a few words. They say I look exactly like my brother, but my voice, that's my own. You don't have to see me. You only need to hear me. CityPhone is the first and only banking service in the Philippines that recognizes your unique voice print. Your voice is stored securely and verified within seconds. So we can immediately get to the heart of your needs. Call us up at 995-9999 to register your voice. Okay, how come I'm not part of this video? Hmm, <laughs> I can say that. I have a voice. Although I don't have a twin. Anyway, to let you know more about the city, so how it continues to use technology and to improve and enable and of course promote progress, Let's call now the Consumer Banking Head of City Philippines, Bayatan. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here in spite of the rainy weather that we had all had to go through this morning. First of all, um, it's really uh, another first in industry that we're introducing this afternoon. So it will be my pleasure to talk about voice biometrics and share the details of which to all of you. This is something that we're really quite excited about because it's something that we've worked for many months. And we know that this feature is something that our customers will really look forward to and it will really make a difference um, when they call City Phone again. When one talks about biometrics, what comes to mind is that it is something that we see out of spy and science fiction movies. But today, we would like to say that biometrics is now a reality and it is more mainstream than ever. We know that we no longer live in the 80s when traffic was not yet at Carmageddon levels and I think all of us went through that this morning. And if it continues to rain, expect that again this afternoon. So please, magpakabusog kayo. <laughs> we could live moderately paced lives at that time, but now every second counts. And doing security questions of two minutes or five minutes is just burdensome for a lot of our customers. So with this, we're cutting it down 
to 10 to 15 seconds, and it's something that will allow our customers to continue with their fast pace and live life on demand. We know that there must be a better way of doing this, which is why we've introduced voice biometrics. Now you might ask, why voice? Well, that's the first thing we capture when you speak, when you speak to our city phone officer, and it is your voice, it is your identification. With voice biometrics, we use voice prints. No matter what language you speak or words you say, your voice print will always be the same. Once converted to a voice print, your voice can technically be your password. Every time you call, your voice is calibrated further to make it even more accurate. It is then securely stored on a customer level, no matter how many accounts you have with Citibank. <coughs> Voice biometrics is not like speech recognition, where you need to say specific words or sentences in a given time. Upon registration, a customer will just need to go through the natural course of speaking to our customer service officer, and they will be verified in 15 seconds or less. And from our experience, comparing ourselves to other countries, what we've noticed it's very easy to successfully register or enroll a Filipino customer because we love to chit chat. <laughs> and like in other countries, one question, one answer, it's hard to capture their voice print. But here, they can talk about anything and everything under the sun. So no problem. We have our, our pass rate in terms of enrollment is over 80%. With no time wasted, we get to the heart of the customer's needs and there's the question of, what if I have a twin? Do you think we'd have the same voice print? We've tested it with twins, with triplets. We were looking for quadruplets as well. Unfortunately, not in time to present them to you today. But mind you, even when twins are born of the same parents with the same birthday and can have the same name or interest in the same women, their voice print is unique to them. So what we're saying is, your voice is unique to you. The way you speak, the intonation, when you stop, when you drag, those are all very unique to you. Each voice is recognized. It is independent of what language you speak. If you're comfortable to speak in English, or Taglish, or even Magilongo or Sibuano Man Kayo, you will still be recognized with your voice print. Certainly, a lot of you might ask also about security features. We take information security very, very seriously in the city. Each voice print is security stored. And as an anti-fraud measure, even after enrollment, you're notified by SMS that you, your registration was successfully captured. We've already launched voice biometrics in six countries in Asia and we've already enrolled over 160,000 customers. Our aim is to be able to enroll as much as over 1 million customers in hopefully before the year ends across all the different Asia Pacific countries. And of course, knowing City, we love to innovate. This is the business that we're in. So we're not going to stop there. You can now say goodbye to usernames and passwords as we've also launched Touch ID on our iOS version of City Mobile app. So expect only the most innovative ways to serve our customers and protect their identity. Expect convenience right at the tip of your tongue or at your fingertips. Expect true customer understanding and service. And of course, on top of these, we're proud to be offering best-in-class products and promotions. <coughs> and all these from City. So I hope you've enjoyed the short presentation that we have today, and have a good day, everyone. Thank you, Bea. And may I add to that list also, they're also, it is also a proud supporter of my red charity gala. Thank you very much. Okay. Now all this is talk, right? Whether you already have a unique voice, if your cadence, or your your uh, intonation and everything is your own. But what better way than a live demonstration?
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, oh, Kurt, the next question is, are you a city guard uh, holder? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then you are a willing candidate for our department. <laughs> yes. You can come here, so we're in the center of this club. Okay. You're, it seems like you're running away from me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we really want to demonstrate how how efficient this is and how it's not really a recording. It's really a biometric. It's like a, it's like a fingerprint. I just found that out. That like somebody even can copy my voice and stuff. It's not. Do you think somebody sounds like you? Your mother, your brother? I don't think so. Nobody. Okay. So, uh, can we call a city person here? Okay. Do you have your your mobile? Okay, we will we will take off. We will make the recording the voice aloud. But then in any information, we will take off the mic. So you won't know where we live. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. So can you please call other? Oh, there. Can we attach your phone? Yeah. Yes. No, no, but we will not transfer any information. <laughs> <laughs> we will just to put uh, your phone on the speaker. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> But you can send your Instagram because this is promotion of you. What is your what is your Instagram number? I can follow you. It's fun. Okay. Hi. All right. You can take a selfie now. So all you need to do is there's a one-time uh, voice recognition test hotline. Okay. And then so we're gonna call the hotline now. Ah, it's low bottom. <laughs> You know, these are, these are the perks of living in Manila, you know. No bad traffic, no bad signal, no bad signal. Back in my house, to be honest, it took three calls for my one. Not because of the inefficiency of city, but because there's no signal. I mean, there's no uh, signal. Okay, are you ready now, Melvin? Okay. Okay, all you need to do is call the house. It's a red phone. Hilarious language. Uh, the city bank okay. That's the yeah. reason that I hear. Okay. okay. And then you can put it on the speaker. Okay. Uh, there. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'd like to sign up for voice biometrics. Yes. So all you need to do is a one-time call and they're going to uh, there. Uh, Chloe, can you wait? <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Are you married? <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Oh, yeah, it's Melvin Kalima. M E L V I N. And her name is S I C A L I M A G. if you are consenting us to store and use your voice print for this purpose according to our privacy circular. Yes. Yes, thank you. I will be sending you a one-time pin verification with your consent through your registered mobile number. Now please let me know if you already received the pin. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's great. I will be transferring you to the recorded line so that you can key in your one time pin, okay? Okay, thank you. Hold on. Okay. 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 Okay.
Thank you for entering your one time fan, Mr. Kenjimak. And can you tell me what type of uh, credit card you have with Citibank? Um, Shell uh, Visa. Thank you. In order for us to proceed further, Mr. Kenjimak, I will be asking you a few questions solely intended to capture your voice print. Could you please let me know your home and office address, please? Home is uh, 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 uh
Okay, then too bad because I am going to choose. <laughs> Someone, sir, hi there. You happen to have a new sign, uh, what's that? New white T-shirt, shirt. So uh, that that is the registration to come and be volunteering <laughs> for this uh, wonderful uh, experiment. Let's call it an experiment because we will see if this experiment works. Uh, sir, what is your name? He's running away from me. He's running away. Tell us the plan. Tell. Oh hi. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, I, I, I definitely just downloaded this name. Uh, I can't even like answer. Okay. <laughs> I don't know my password. Wait. What's up again? Ah, there. Okay. Okay, there it is. That's a speaker board. Huh? That's a speaker board. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's call City now. Let's call City now. Does it work? Yeah, yeah. Make, make your voice nice. <laughs> But we are unable to authenticate your identity based on the boyfriend on our record. What? They would be <laughs> It's 45 questions. Not 4 to 5, but 45 questions. So can you imagine, by the time you reach the 39th question, you have to close the phone and steal another card, right? That's, what, that's how city will distract people that, you know, Siguro by the 10th question, they're already, oh my gosh, this is really not you. Even if you sang, okay. Now, to show that it really, really works, we have experiment number three. My voice! Okay. Now we'll see Chloe and get her to work again. Okay. By the way, Chloe's in the other room. <laughs> Just don't know it. <laughs> she's, she's just there. She was just in the building. To ensure the high quality of service we provide you, all conversations with our officers will be recorded. <laughs> Thank you for calling City Phone. This is Fatima speaking. How may I help you? Who's this? <laughs> what happened to Chloe? I was kidding. I'm Tessa Prieta Valdez, and I have an inquiry about my 
email address. Can I have it? Can I have it verified? Oh, okay, ma'am. May I please have your full name? Again, okay. I'm Tessa Priyada Valdez, and I live. No, you don't need. Me. You don't need my address. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Miss Valdez. Oh, okay. Nice to get back from you. How are you today? Are you You mean I don't have to sing and, and say so many questions and answers to verify my voice? No, ma'am, this doesn't need that anymore. How oh, disappointing. I wanted to sing. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. I just wanted to test if my beautiful voice has been authenticated. It was, ma'am. Thank you very much for calling City Phone. All have right. a good day. Have a good day, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's have a look. So it does work. And believe me, I asked all the questions. What if I had no voice? I had like, you know, a whole night of singing a concert the day before, you know, stuff like that. It doesn't matter. Because it is like a thumbprint. It's something that is inside of you. See, if you really don't have a voice. Yes, okay. And then my other question was, what about for really um, heavy duty um, transactions? I think, they still have to, they'll, they'll, because she said something like, what if, you know, more information, is that correct? If you, if for more heavy, yes, they'll, they'll check. Transactions that doesn't, yeah, for transactions that don't basically are in line with your normal banking <laughs> operations. If I normally do transfers for a thousand pesos each, yeah. and suddenly I say I want to make a million tra peso transfer, Wow. That will stand up and I will basically go through additional identification. So those are standard. So anytime you bank outside your normal pattern, it would be a trigger for us to do incremental verification. Where is the technology coming from? From the US or Asia? Where did the first roll it out? Uh, we first rolled this out in the U US and uh, this is the sixth country in Asia where we're rolling it out. So there are five other countries in the Asia Pac region where we've rolled it out before we're country number six. Which countries are you? Uh, I believe it's Singapore, Hong Kong, Australia, Australia Taiwan, 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 Taiwan and Malaysia. Malaysia and then us. When was it rolled out in the US? This year or last? Uh, biometrics, voice biometrics has been around for some time. But in terms of banking application, possibly a couple of months ago, later. Oh, two, years. two years ago. US. Two years. Two years. Two years. What is, um, I, I was just curious, Tess said, even if your voice is worse, mm -hmm. and uh, what if you're under duress? <coughs> yeah. Even if you're under duress, the, thumb pr the voice print does not change. Okay. If you had laryngitis and couldn't enunciate or pronounce anything or say anything or could not be heard, that's different. Mm -hmm. But short of laryngitis, you know, oh. if through different phases of stress, yeah. through different emotions, yeah. through different voice pitches, you would still be recognized. If you're crying, for instance, you just got held up and you have to cancel your... You should be able to be recognized. Laryngitis but would be the only exception to, uh, to the yeah. issue. At that stage, yeah. we would uh, basically go back and rely on the traditional form of authenticating you okay. would be asking you three to five, three, two, five questions, <laughs> 35 questions, three or five questions, three or five questions. And at that point, some would be dynamic in nature right. in that they would not sort of, you know, not something that would be demographic related and everybody would have the answer to it. Okay. Wow. Those are the technical questions in the other side, Tanya. Dito yung, no, but those are really valid points. Like, you know, exactly. What if, you know, you just got robbed and stuff like that? And, and of course, your voice is different, no? Yes. Um, wow. No, 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 no. Emotional problems like your husband's cheating on you and everything. Oh, my God. Believe me, you can cancel his credit card. Or use up all his money before you cancel it. Correct. That's why. <laughs> We're very, you know. Um, Melvin, hi. Can we have you back here? We just want to see how was. Uh, are you already close with Chloe? No. Did you call her again? Are you married? So, so you're okay. 
you're, you're never going to come to another city event. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Digital technology in city, and um, <coughs> be one of be one of us. You know, we are moving to the new age. <laughs> so with that. We'd like to again acknowledge everyone for coming and spreading the word. It's called Voice Biometrics. It is really welcome to the future of banking. When we have a round of applause again, thank you again. Obviously, it's a case of making sure you have the appropriate services, you're customer centric in the uh, solutions you deliver, it's about the people you have and how they connect with customers. But it's like, but this is in line with our approach to be customer centric. And as long as we remain customer centric, our business will grow. And so far, globally, we have the first thing that people have opted out. Now, I don't have a number for you, to be honest, on that front. But I'm certain, based on the example that Tessa had given, if it takes you anywhere from two minutes to five minutes to you know, basically go through a series of identification questions and respond to them, and if this only takes you 10 to 15 seconds, the differential is huge. And in today's world, when you know, time is at a premium, and people would like to shorten the uh, you know, cycle, the, the service cycle, both from a bank perspective as well as from the customer's perspective, more importantly, uh, I think most people would like to opt in, uh, that, and that's our hope. And we've seen the fact that we have 7,000 enrollments in a couple of days. We're enrolling at a pace of 1,000 a day, and expect to have 10,000 by the end of the week, means that there is a fairly broad acceptance for the technology. Because this morning, actually, we still haven't done the public launching. This 7,000 enrollments was really just for soft launch on our and for customers that are calling us last month. Um, so once this goes public, we envision that all our colors will now start talking about for asking to be approved. It's pretty good. It may be a different thing. True, and we have that too. And we have very few people. You know, like anything new. Like anything new, it takes time for it to catch on. But in today's world, as more and more people get more technology savvy and high comfort with new innovations, I think that the fact that we have 10,000 enrollments means that it's catching on. And we really require your help and support to promote this as being a great feature. Okay, game. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Oh yeah. Tell me if possible to designate an authorized representative. So this is more for the case of let's say if the client is uh let's say a favorite company or maybe a senior citizen. So usually they don't make the calls themselves. They would have the secretary do it or the children do it. So um, in that case, would it be possible? Uh, unfortunately, uh, no, uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, it works pretty much like it, like it does today in terms of a voice uh, or a validation process. I, you know, we normally validate the caller. Uh, and even in the, in the manual authentication mode, we don't allow that. There are other ways in which those kind of transactions can get addressed, which is really through mobile banking or, you know, someone comes to the branch and we can maintain a, you know, power of attorney or whatever that is, but not through this. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is for your own protection. Yes. Because when you come to the counter, it's different. They either have standing instructions or you can do a call back to verify that the instructions you're providing are genuine and authentic. But in this particular case, if you give someone else the authority and say yes, voice spread, then that basically goes, defies the, or goes against the logic of being a unique identifier. Thank you.